focus three. Hello everybody, welcome back to Stolen Keys Media. This is going to be the final video on our three-part uh, building a percussion part series. Um, in this final one, we're going to lay down the timbala part. So, I want to thank our sponsors for this video, Branches Homeschool Academy. Go check them out, home, uh, branchesshomeschoolacademy.com. Uh, with the pandemic and everything going on right now, there's a lot of questions about homeschooling, how you do it, how you go about it. This is a great resource to go to brancheshomeschoolacademy.com. Great people, super helpful. In this final video, we're laying down the timbala part, as you can see. Now, the timbala part, when you bring it into the song, it really starts to drive that song. It's a lot of fun to play. It looks like it's a lot of fun. It looks really busy, really fancy. Um, and it's what really starts pushing that song and driving it forward. Um, I don't normally like to lay down the timbale part before I've laid down the conga part and the bongo bell and the bongo part because it just seems really empty to me. It's really hard to get into the groove if I'm playing the timbale part by themselves. So for that reason, you're not going to really hear a timbale part on its own. Um, we're going to play through the songs twice. The first time you're going to hear the timbale part uh, played along with the congas, with the bongos, no solo. The second time, just for fun, we're going to throw in there that final solo on the timbale part. Um, You'll see that I go for two sections of the timbala part. There's the what would be considered the verse part and then the chorus part. The verse part is when you when you see me playing on the sides, it's called the cascada part. And then it comes into the chorus and solo parts. You'll see me playing on the bell, that's the uh, chorus or the mambo bell part. Um, and you'll see how all that ties in with the bongo bell, with the congas and everything that's going on. Um, never stepping on each other, always being mindful of what it is we're doing. So. Let's go ahead and check out that tune. Hope you enjoy. So there you have it, uh, that's how I build my percussion parts when either I'm doing it for my own projects, when somebody calls me up and wants want me to play the entire percussion part. But like I said at the very beginning of the first video, uh, it doesn't matter whether you're playing it for somebody else, playing with other people, the approach is the same. You always want to be mindful of other percussionists playing parts in your tune so you have space for them. Um, I want to thank my buddy Eric Coral, he played bass throughout these uh, for this tune here. Make sure you check out his page. He's always got tons of great information. I also want to thank our Brilliant Focus 3 who handle all the camera, all the filming, all the editing. These guys are awesome. So go check them out as well. I'll post the link down below also for them. Um, and I want to thank all my sponsors. 
uh, for uh, helping me create this video. We know it's all it's hard times for everybody, but all these sponsors, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you would like to hear next, what you want me to cover, uh, what kind of percussion stuff you want me to, to play. There's a few things that I have in my head that I want to put out there for you guys. Uh, keep coming back. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep putting stuff out. Very, very helpful and informative stuff. Thanks for subscribing to Stolen Keys Media. I really appreciate it. We'll catch you guys next time.